Hey, it's Harrison, and in today's video, we're going to be making sodium dichromate. Word of caution, sodium dichromate is carcinogenic, which means it causes cancer, so don't try to make this at home. I'm using the roasting method, which requires fire, so I'm going to get that started. I weigh out 5 grams of chromium 3 oxide and then weigh out 10 grams of sodium carbonate. I mix the two ingredients thoroughly and I put it into a ceramic dish. take my mixture and I dump it into water. This dissolves the sodium chromate and it also dissolves the leftover sodium carbonate that did not react. I filter the solution to try to get as much of the chromium oxide out as I can, but you can still see that the solution has a little bit of a green tinge to it and that's very fine particles of chromium oxide that still made it through the filter. I let the filtered solution sit for a couple of hours to let all of the fine particles settle out, and then I decanted the solution to another container. I add about 50 milliliters of this solution to a 250 milliliter beaker. Then I start adding small amounts of sulfuric acid to acidify the solution. The bubbling and fizzling you're seeing here is just the sulfuric acid reacting with leftover sodium carbonate that is still in solution. You can also see that the solution went from a yellow to an orange color, letting us know that we have sodium dichromate in solution. I add it to a hot plate so I can start to concentrate the solution down, and as I did so you can see it get more and more red, and that's just because the amount of dichromate is getting more and more concentrated. pour off what I can into a waste beaker and I start trying to concentrate the solution in my oven. I was unable to get the last little bit of water out of the dichromate sludge, so I set it out to slowly evaporate over time. 
The small red crystals that you see on the side is the sodium dichromate. I boiled down the rest of the normal sodium chromate solution and I was able to obtain the salt right away. In my next video I'm going to be trying to get the sulfur out of pyrite so look forward to that but that's all for me for this video.